Charlie Menya with let me ask you. What is <laughs> what is Carbono Scrabble 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 Part 2? That one. That one. Tell you, you don't say Mata the Cam the Yard. Mata the Cam. I said yesterday, I laughed. I don't go and play, sir. I'm going to leave out. You go and play, but I don't you guys get to think what you need. Yesterday, yesterday I saw something here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got so grand. <laughs> Are you featuring Patapa on the song? Oh, but you cool down. You see the surprise. You know that we have a, you know, sometimes we're serious. You know, as much as I deliver quality music mm. and I'm an entertainer, and I think that, you know, people are surprised. You know, I'm surprised people every time when you're looking, they're like, ah, the album jump, and this one is also speculative. Sometimes we need to laugh, we need to pray. Right. We want to express ourselves in ways that we can't, but only do with words and sounds, you know. So, Charlie, that's it. Yeah. Well, if if I'm not exaggerating, music has become um, like every, every young, every youth's dream. Okay. Uh, yes. So, uh, yes. If I'm not too exaggerating. Now, uh, have you had people approach you whom uh, you suppose may be interested in, in the skill where you are not training people to become musicians, but... People, I'm very sure I'm I'm now speaking for the majority of the youth, where yeah. they look yeah. up to Stoneboy and say, Child, I want to be like him, or I want to be a musician some way, somehow. In yeah. this case, how would you lend a helping hand? Thank you very much. Um, trust me, I get these messages every day, mm. personal, messaging, box, everywhere I pass, you find people asking for support, for help, because they want to become, you know, musicians like myself and even bigger mm. um and most of them would want me to help them start it or to help me to you know help them get to where they want to get to uh, but we all know as far as i'm concerned that eh, to music is not like carpentry or it's not you know like every other thing i think you have to have that passion for it mm -hmm. you know like every other skill like every other skill you have to and uh, it's also a different a different it's a, it's, a, it's a different ball game, more than people think. You know, I mean, those who are interested, sometimes they see you on TV and they see you singing and they believe that they can. So if you watch these programs and all these ones, you find out that a thousand people come and in the end they screen them to some 10 or 5 and a whole chunk of them only believe that they can, but they actually are not meant for it. So it's easy to reach out for help and feel like you need it. You know, but it's another thing for us also to take time to check if you really do have that talent and are skilled at it before we can, you know, help you or try to put in time and stuff. But nonetheless, uh, I think I've given so much support to the youth and I continue to give support to up and coming. You know what I mean? Uh, like we all know, I just dropped a vet. I just dropped another, I put another video for me featuring Kofi. Jama, Kofi mm. Jama featuring myself. Right. A day, uh, you know, some few weeks ago, another one, uh, Kapoon, mm. is a dancer featuring Wiki. myself. Wiki. And 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 I keep I keep featuring. You know, I keep voicing Mr. Jew one. It's a big tune. You know, like whilst I have dropped my album, I make sure that you know, regardless if I do find somebody that I can help, you know, I it's not necessarily just training them to start music because they would have to have it. I have a lot of youth that I big up every day, copy ranks. I have people that I support financially in the best of ways to demo or see, which is not all known out there. But um, I also have, you know, like we all know, signed a few before and support. And so my support is key and I continue to do it behind the, um, the scenes also. And uh, one thing about the music is that I'm putting together something very beautiful for the masses soon. I don't want mm. to break the ice, okay. but I remember I mentioned something before in Hit of Fun Studios that there's something coming that I'm planning, like a program that will bust the youth, you mm. know, and, and stuff. So we're working on it keenly and we're making sure that when we hit the 
ground running, it will become a nine-day wonder because I acknowledge what kind of system in which we are, mm. where it is very um, 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 it is very rare to find financial support and the systems aren't set well for investment to even come back to you as much as you can in this music scene and the movie scene and the creative scene. So it's really difficult. So as much as people are looking for help and all, they, we don't actually have that much to make it happen that they would want to or even make it happen for us the way we would even want to mm. in the first place. So we're trying. Mm. Uh, Stoneboy, well, you, you've also announced a UK tour. Yeah. Uh, is it anytime soon? Yeah, this uh, this is actually a postponed date, which is which has uh, been pushed to September now. So we're praying and hoping that everything goes well, um, so that if the corona things go down and there's, there's a, a possibility, I pray that it you know uh, that also happens because this was supposed to happen in May. Hmm. Actually, uh, I was on tour from February, and then I had to postpone and cancel a, a lot of things from from March, mm. April, and May, and June. So I think the UK leg, um, that, that I'm doing that with Live Nation and stuff, has been pushed to September now. That is the dates that we find. So I encourage all the fans out there in the UK and in Europe, you know, to to get on, because I think these people have, you know, information ahead of time to know when things can be held or not. So I think September is a suitable date now, and I pray that that happens as well. So let's get out there, grab tickets and stuff, and let's get going. So September UK tour is on. And we'll but, uh, to aren't, the UK. aren't you entertaining fears that, yes, although borders may be open in September, it, it will still affect sales or patronage? Honestly speaking, no. Honestly speaking, no. Because I think I, I, I was of that school of thought before, but trust you me, the other time, Let's say I was passing through, um, I went for a meeting, I was coming back home. And I mean, I think uh, we, uh, uh, to be honest, I'm just, I just have to state not to hide this thing. Mm. I saw people gather up at one place and I was like, what? It's not like it was December. <laughs> one, one, I thought, I, I was, I was, I, I was, I was shocked the whole time because we're supposed to be in uh, Corona times right mm, now mm. and obeying protocols and all, which is true. But it tells you that the desire to go out, the desire to touch base again, the desire to enjoy me, the desire to, is so high. So honestly speaking, I do not think that if borders are open today and the news comes from World Health Organization or wherever that people can, can, can roll, it will ram up. The shows will ram up already because we've been... We've actually cherished, uh, you know, events and outdoor life now that we uh, we don't have it. So if borders open and we're asked to go, I don't think it will affect attendance at all. It would rather be crazy because nonetheless, uh, during the time, like you said from the intro, I've been running as if I've not been affected or anything with promotions and putting an album out there. We just hit 20 million on audio mark. Congratulations. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. I was so happy yeah. for you. Congrats, yeah. man. Yeah. So I think it wouldn't affect attendance. They would rather jack up, you know, because, mm. you know. <laughs> but, 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 but same way, yes. And even in Ghana, well, uh, people are also thinking that in no time we may go back to a lockdown because of the increase in, in, numbers. in, in numbers of, of infected persons. Now, in case, just in case, I'm just saying yeah. just in case, now, in case we, we go on a lockdown again, or even if we don't, better yet, observing safety protocols, our, our favorite beam concert and a shaman party, uh, a shaman to the world, I beg your pardon. Well, yeah. Yes. Are we going to see a virtual concert or you postpone? <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. I, 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 we're thinking around that already, but we're praying that should we go into another lockdown, I think that would be another measure. Mm -hmm. That would would help to you know maintain what numbers we have now and probably increase the recovery rate and all that. So as for that, I'm for that. Any measure that is going to be used to help us stay alive and use mortality and uh, and, and stuff, um, I'm for that. But um, we will see. 
because uh, we have like a few, one or two or three months to be able to conclude on the decision if we are going to go virtual with Ashaman to the World concert and the BIM concerts, or we'll be able to finally get back onto the road and manage within whatever means we have to have it done. So mm-hmm. we are thinking about that as well. So definitely it might come on. You know, it, I, or it will come on if we find out that the virtual concept is that interactive or that, you know, strong as well. But if not, I think we might just have to find a better way to do the best. Mm. If we can't get the best out of whatever situation, it's better not doing it at all. Mm. Well, Stoneboy, uh, you know, I'm asking, the, the <clears> reason <throat> I'm asking these questions, I mean, we haven't vibed, we, we haven't spoken on radio in a very long while. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, forgive me if 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 I am derailing a bit, but no uh, uh, I'm very sure th- these are questions a lot of people are asking and they've not had the opportunity. No problem. Yes, to to get answers. But uh, one more thing before I let you go. Not long ago, yeah. you, you remember the Kelvin Boy incident that happened at the Electroland shop. Uh, your name appeared in the conversation, uh, in the narrative, and you issued a statement. Uh, there was a press release. How far have you gone with the case? I think we've dealt with that, you know, already, and I do not mean, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> it's, it's not that you've asked, honestly, that I've forgotten a long time ago. <laughs> I think it was as and when, so we had to, you know, just do the needful, like, right on the onset, we shifted it to the teams that are, you know, responsible to handle those, and have since moved away from that long time, mm-hmm. you know, so they're handling it. I think I uh, will check how far, but I am not focusing on that one right now. Mm, mm, you know, mm. the right things are handling things on that side. Mm. Yeah. All right, Stoneboy, thank you very much. Uh, thank I'm, you I'm very so much grateful too. for your time. And look, thank I'm happy you for much. you that, Charlie, you've chalked. Yo, I mean, the, the album is doing so well. Now, yeah, I, man. I, I, I think I, we should do we should do the review sooner you know, in the studio. So we we, we have to do it again. You want us to do it again? <laughs> again, yeah. When I'm in the studio, ah, we do it again. Charlie, yeah. ah, how have we done it twice? We've done oh, it twice. Yes, the second I one. You can do it three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you missed, yeah, you missed, yeah. you missed the second but, one. But yeah, I, but big ups you... on your record still with Kitty and uh, and, and, and EO. EO. Yeah, Marty. thank you, thank you, Marty, 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 Marty. thank you so much. Watch out for the video me dancing today. Ah, I thank you so today. much. I'll be grateful. Uh, are, yeah, are you not? Are you not too surprised that now attention is shifting from some of the songs to another? Now it looks like Critical is taking a center stage on the Anloga Junction album. Have you realized it? Yes, it, it, the, the whole album I can I can boldly and proudly say it's a hit. You know what I mean? And we're working on videos. And we've worked on uh, six videos already, if not seven. But mm-hmm. I think we've released five, and we're moving. There, there, there's a plan to the thing. Remember, the album is only two months. And wow! Days, you know, and wow. this is how we. This is what we have chopped, and we've only rolled out one part of promotion. So we're ready to go second phase and third phase, depending on how things.